Keelan and Claudia are getting stale. I think he's forgotten how to treat me the way he did in the beginning. So she had a tasty blind date. Looked like sexual chocolate. And he appealed to her sweet tooth. He told me that he could make me some peach cobbler. Meanwhile, Keelan cooked something up with his blind date. Did you guys spend all the time in the kitchen? We um, spent a little time in the bedroom. <laughs> Now, will they still find loving in the oven? I also told him that I would marry the man who can make me peach cobbler. Or will they have a change of heart? Thank you very much. I'm Chris Jagger. Welcome to Change of Heart. Now, today's couple, they met about a year ago, and things were so perfect, they expected to be heading for the altar. But... Then they moved in together, and that's where the honeymoon ended. Now, he's a former pro football player. She's a former Miss USA finalist, but this time, yes. This time, though, they're competing for each other's affection. Please welcome Keelan Matthews and Claudia Jordan. Welcome to the show. Claudia, let me start with you. Why is this a good time to go on these dates with other people? I think Keelan's starting to take me for granted, and I thought that if we went on dates with other people, it might jar his memory as to how he used to treat me back in the day. Yeah, sometimes you just forget what it was like back in the day. Keelan, what was it like back then? Well, it was great back then. When we first met, I brought her to my cousin's first wedding. She met my mother, my father. She met everybody. And she was there for me during my you know, rough periods of my life, and I, you know... She was always there for me. Uh, Claudia, you guys moved in together. That's when the trouble started. Why is that? Keelan will pick fights over anything. Like, uh, <laughs> I mean, it could be something so small as to what we should, w whether we should watch this program or that program, or if it's I didn't make him turkey bacon. Not no, turkey bacon. Yeah, not yeah. he thinks I'm selfish if I don't say, do you want some juice? Now, why are you fighting over little things like because that? Because I always, bacon. because I always think about her first, and I feel that there's a lot of times she don't ever think about me first. And, um, and um, you know, this, uh, a bunch of these little things kept culminating. These little, these little things kept, you know, edging us. And so then I asked her uh, eventually to move, move out. You asked her to move out? No, he did not ask me to move out. He went to work. I called U-Haul on the sneak. And I moved everything out in three hours. He came home. The bed was gone. No, I was no, out of there. No. Out of there. Right, now, Claudia, yeah. give me an example. Give us a step-by-step -step explanation through a typical disagreement between the two of you. Okay, he'll get mad over something little. Get a grudge. Silent treatment, go to sleep mad, in separate rooms, Ooh. wake up the next day, still mad. If he gets mad, yes, if he gets mad over his little things, I don't see how he'd be able to handle a major crisis if we did get Big mad. things, right. No, Keelan, she, Keelan, you gotta learn how to let go of these things. Why can't you do that? I, I, I do let go, but she asks, it's like it's all me. I mean, her ego is, is larger than mine. Impossible. She, she, she never, I mean, we've been and, together for a year. She's never apologized to me. I know, I can understand being wrong, 90% of the time, but I'm not wrong 100% of the time. And then, you know, and yeah, but if, yeah, but Keelan, if you're the guy that's mad and you're in the other bedroom and everything else, what about intimacy in your relationship? Well, Claudia doesn't even like to kiss sometimes, man. It's like, yeah. Oh, oh, it's hard to kiss someone very, who's always running no, his mouth. I'm also <laughs> passionate. I'm a passionate person. I believe I'm a passionate person, so I like, you know, contact, you know, With stroking, who? kissing. Yeah, like but she's, <laughs> she says you're not quiet long she enough to kiss. Like to kiss. Now, to Claudia, kiss he says out. he's a passionate person. Uh, anything that you don't like about him, though, that turns you off? Absolutely. And hey, what would that be? He cannot dress. When I first, <laughs> when I first met him, he wore this like little sarong skirt. I know That's this right. is L.A. Pardon and everything. Me? I That's thought right. he was gay when I first met him. <laughs> Not gay, not gay. Right. All right, I've been Claudia, if he's wearing a sarong once in a while, that's okay, but does he wear the pants in the relationship? He tries to control me a little bit. He gets mad, he tries to tell she's, me she's what, what modeling job impossible. to take or um, who I should or should not talk to. That is not true. That is not true. I said she's too social. Right. She's overly social. He's just trying to give you some advice. Now, yeah, Claudia, I mean, do you think he's intimidated by the fact that you're going on doing these things? He might be a little intimidated because I am, I, I not, am a very independent, very strong woman. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And I, and I support her. I support that, though. I support her independence. Right. Keelan, how about the times that you guys are out together? Does she like to show you off and make you feel proud? We get invitations to a lot of things. Right. And whenever I do, I always make an point to take her. So, Keelan, oh, she man. invites you, but she don't reciprocate? No, she takes her girlfriends every time. I want to have fun. Every I don't want to get in an argument because some guy looked at me or, or said hi to someone or forgot to introduce no, someone. No, no, no. It could be anything. It could be a right, movie now, for me. Claudia, go back to the beginning of the relationship, and what's the thing that you miss most about that? I miss surprises. Keelan was very sweet and very romantic when we first got together, and that's the one thing that made me fall in love with him. 
I mean, he one time surprised me by drawing a picture of me for Christmas. Which thought, you brought along here. And, and I just want to let everybody to see this because this was very nice. I mean, <laughs> if he went out and did something like this for you, yeah. I mean, you know, look at that. It's beautiful. It's he sexy. <laughs> yeah. Take a look at that. I also told him when I first met him that I would marry the man who can make me peach cobbler. And he got on the phone with his grandmother and called her and he got the recipe and made it for me. So. See that? Portraits and peach cobbler That's and all right. that good stuff. Now, speaking of yeah. surprises, Keelan's date has one for him, and we're going to find out what it is when we come back, so stay tuned. <laughs> all right, welcome back. We are here with Claudia and Keelan. Now, Keelan told us that he loves Claudia's hot looks. However, he hates her cold disposition. So we found him a woman who says her sultry voice could melt any man's heart. Please welcome Roxanne Estrada. Can I ask you a question, lover? Is it all right if I put my lips on yours? Tonight night in L.A. here on the ocean sand. And I'd like to give a feeling that your girl can, but I can't. That's quite a welcome. Please have a seat. Uh, Kaylin, have you heard this song before? Yes, I did, Chris. At her, her apartment. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. You're over at her apartment, she's singing to you. Was this at the end of the date? They was at the goodbye segment oh. of the date. <laughs> now, Roxanne, is that at the uh, end of the date, all that happened? Was you singing to him? No, after I sang, I gave him a kiss on the lips. Oh. Unlike Claudia, who doesn't like to kiss. Now, Claudia, after the date, did Keelan tell you what happened and the way it ended? He told me he kissed her on the cheek that he was totally not interested. Oh. Like a little different story at this point. <laughs> Keelan, what led up to this? Were you attracted from the get-go? Yeah, she's a beautiful, beautiful woman. I mean, sure. Beautiful body. I mean, man, she has, not to be, you know, uh, beautiful breasts. I mean, that's the first thing I know. I wish her. It'd be nice if her voice was as nice as her breasts. Sorry, she has a cold. Oh. Wow. Oh, okay. Roxanne, did uh, Keelan make a good impression, just the way you did? Uh, he seemed kind of nervous, and then he gave me a gift. He gave me a basket. He gave me a rose. That was cute, but the greeting on the rose said, Danielle. Now, I'm Roxanne. Oh, Danielle? Danielle. Who's that? No. You can't even hey, get the I names went, right? I, no, I went to the florist in the morning just to, to get it wrapped, because I didn't know how to wrap this thing, because I put pieces together, and, and, and the girl was talking to me, and I was pressed for time. I hated being late, and then her so name was Daniel. So it's just a mistake. Wrote, okay, yeah. honest mistake. Yeah. Uh, Roxanne, what about the fact the way he was dressed? Because Claudia <laughs> says a guy can't dress. No, he was he was cute. He had this tight shirt on, and I could see his muscles through his shirt, and that was good. <laughs> so Keelan, you were going horseback riding, if I understand correctly. So a chance for a little horse play at that point? Actually, we could <laughs> we couldn't really. Uh, talk or get close to each other then because, uh, I mean, the view from behind was pretty good, but... Um, <laughs> yeah, oh, I bet it was. What about after? Uh, <laughs> Roxanne, <laughs> Roxanne, what about after the horseback riding? Any horseplay then? Well, he took me back to my apartment and then he gave me a kiss on the cheek. He had to leave because he had to go to a modeling rehearsal. Mm -hmm. And then he gave me a kiss on the cheek and then <laughs> that made me, you know, look forward to cooking later. So there was going to be a part two, so you were right, going to actually right, right. cook up a home, a homemade meal. Yeah. All right, so Keelan, you come back the second time. Any surprises at that point? Yeah, I was pleasantly surprised. I mean, she had this, this, this meal pre-prepared for me, and um, she cooked this uh, chocolate uh, mud cake. And I, <laughs> and I love chocolate, and um, it's something from, like, down south, and it was, a, it was a wonderful surprise to see that because she took the time to actually bake something. And she had a dozen roses, which I've never received from Claudia, so it was pretty <laughs> All good. right, so mud cake and roses. Yeah. Roxanne, you had nice surprises for him. What about in return? Did he surprise you? Yeah, he did with his sarong. He had his <laughs> sarong on. Now, my roommate right. thought it was gay, but it was really cute. Oh, right. <laughs> him and this sarong thing, I don't know. Oh, Keelan, I understand you, she was cooking back at your place. Uh, did you guys spend all the time in the kitchen? No, we didn't, Chris. We um, spent a little time in the bedroom. I had to... <gasps> What was going I, on in there? I had to. I fed my. I have reptiles, and I fed my snake a rat, and I fed my iguana some lizards, and well, it's always a. I'll, I love that carnage type thing. So. Uh -huh. And Roxanne, what were you doing while you were in the bedroom, just spectating there, watching the yeah, rodents that eat? that, and looking at pictures of Claudia, and then he decided to point out my thong underwear that were sticking out, 
Oh. And he called me Velveteen the whole night after that. Velveteen. That's my word, because her underwear looked velvet, so I called no, no, Velveteen. Get and Keelan, how were you feeling while she's slaving away in the kitchen, preparing whatever she was making? I felt a little uneasy, Chris, only because I hadn't had a woman in there, you know, as the date in my room. My mother's the only other person that's been there since her, and um, I'm used to seeing Claudia actually in there doing that for me, and uh, I felt a little... It made uneasy. you feel a little odd, right? And Roxanne... Could, I mean, could you sense it. that at all, that Keelan might have been thinking about Claudia? No, I think if he had been, he would have picked up the phone the four times that she called. He knew she was calling. He didn't oh. pick up the phone. Claudia. Hey, Claudia, you know he's, on a, he's having his date and you call four times? I called twice. Actually, he lied to me and told me that his phone was in the car and that we were supposed to have early dates. My cell phone and was he, in the car. He did not call me back or did not I'd hear from him, so I was a little worried about him. I know what mm -hmm. hands he were in. So. All right, so Keelan, what about after dinner? Was that the end of the date or what happened? We decided to, to, to do some other things, some bowl or, or go see a movie or something. So I put some suggestions in a little bowl and I had her kind of... Uh -huh. And Roxanne, would you, would you pick out? I picked wow. Stay Home and Get Buck Wild. Was one of the options in the hat or box yeah, or whatever? Yeah. yeah. Really, stay home and get bug wild. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you so, were joking. So, Roxanne, maybe you should explain what, what that meant. Did you get wild? Uh, well, I laid down on the couch and mm -hmm. he came up and cuddled behind me and then, you know, and then we went to a late movie after that. That doesn't sound too, too wild. Yeah. Now, Keelan, I think beforehand you guys agreed to have short dates. Wasn't that the case? You had that agreement between the two of you? So, yes. what time did you get home, Keelan? <laughs> 2.30. Oh. 2.30. 2.30 a.m. Oh, it doesn't sound too early to me. However, next up, we're going to find out how peaches and panties play a role on Claudia's day, so stay tuned. <laughs> All right, welcome back. Keelan and Claudia agreed ahead of time to end their dates early. Well, Keelan and Roxanne ended their date early, all right, early in the morning. <laughs> Now, though, Claudia told us that she played by Keelan's roles. However, she did go out with a partier, a baker, and a big old rule breaker. Let's welcome Marlon Sanders. Seat. And Marlon, I can't help but notice that you got a bowl there with some papers in it. Yeah, well, um, I heard what they were doing on their dates, so uh, I thought Claudia and I would have a few options to do on our second no, date. You guys yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, Claudia, Claudia, why don't you second, grab one out of there and let's see what you pull out. Second date? Yeah. <laughs> and what does it say? Oh, a hot oil rub down. Then we'll Hell get jiggy no. in the <laughs> <laughs> uh, Keelan, not too happy about your suggestion there, pal. Marlon, after everything you've heard about Keelan and uh, the relationship, what's your take on this guy? Well, I don't know what's wrong with him. I don't know if he's blind or what, but uh, I couldn't keep my hands off of him. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Claudia, as far as your uh, you know, outlook goes, how did Marlon measure up to Keelan? He looked good. Looked like sexual chocolate. <laughs> Sexual chocolate. Yeah, and his... never had a problem with caramel, I know that, so hey. And how, how about his uh, personality? He was a sweetheart. He was fun. He was very respectable. I could tell that he's a type that would put a woman on a pedestal and pretty much put them first. He was very he was sweet. Mm -hmm. And then, Claudia, I understand your date was at the aquarium. Why is that? Why the aquarium? Well, me and Keelan, we used to have a lot of fish tanks, and that was the... Uh, something that we enjoy doing together. And I, I love that. I've been wanting to go. I told him a long time ago, but he seemed to forget that. But we went to the aquarium, we saw the fish, and we had a great time. Oh, you went to so, the aquarium. Marlon, who had all your attention? Uh, Claudia or the, uh, the fish? Well, I you know oh, the, the fish, fish were nice now, but um, she had these cute little tight gray pants on, so that caught my attention. <laughs> I bet. And, uh, <laughs> and actually, we were getting a lot of compliments from people. They uh, talked about how good we looked together. And Marlon, was it obvious? Obvious she was having a good time there with you? Oh, yeah. We have a good time, you know, flirting here and there, looking at the fish, petting the stingrays together. First of all, you said yeah. you had a skirt on and dress. Claudia, anything other than the interest in the fish while you guys were at the aquarium that you shared? Um, actually, we shared some creme brulee. He spoon-fed me at the dinner that we spoon went to. Spoon-fed you? Yeah. That was nice. It's kind of romantic. Yeah. 
And, and what are you saying? Kaylin would never do that? Uh, he's just too worried about how many carbs he has. Oh, <laughs> as opposed to speed. Yeah, she just snatches food off my plate. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> Marlon, did Claudia have anything planned for the date since you made the reservations in the aquarium thing? Yeah, actually, she uh, suggested that we go bowling. And uh, apparently, she can't bowl with him because he has temper tantrums. <laughs> <laughs> so, Claudia, now, uh, did you have more fun with Marlon going out bowling than you would have with Keelan? Actually, we had a lot of fun because um, we actually had a drink while we were bowling. And that loosened things up and we started to flirt in between strikes, whatever, we congratulated each other and it was a lot of fun. Marlon, anything strike your fancy while you were watching her bowl? <laughs> yeah, um... <laughs> <laughs> she, um, had these little orange thong bikini underwear. What? Uh -huh. <laughs> Picking through the top of her pants wait a minute, wait a minute. that were thong really, really bikini. Yeah, thong. What's the matter with that, Caitlin? <laughs> <laughs> You've never seen her in a thong before? <laughs> About you four times You were cool with Velveteen over there. Been together. <laughs> With thong. The only time she go when she goes clubbing, she wears a thong. Hey, it's like we can't wear thong around the house. Yeah. All right, Marlon, the two of you hanging out sounds like it was a good time overall. Any regrets though on the date? Um, she had a cell phone with her and it kept on ringing. I don't know who it was, but um, you know, <laughs> it was kind of annoying. Yeah, it always does that, man. You can make it used to that. Claudia, what about the peach cobbler test, Claudia? Was there a test? There? Uh, did you get a chance yeah. to do that? Actually, towards the end of the day, I told him the story about Keelan and the peach cobbler thing. He told me that he's a great chef and that he could make me some peach cobbler. But um, I really wanted to get, I thought that we had this deal going out, we'd end our dates early, so I told him that I couldn't do it that night. So there was no time. And Marlon, a little disappointed That's you didn't right. get a shot there? That's right. Yeah, I was. Um, I really, she told me she was going to marry the man that uh, could make a good peach cobbler, and I knew I could uh, make a really good one. So I invited her over a couple times throughout the week, and so finally, um, later on in the week, she came over and what? I was able to uh, get her off <laughs> some peach cobbler. It was really good. Too. Oh, is that right? Uh, you didn't know oh, about that, Keelan, huh? No, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't know about the kiss. No, now, no uh, I didn't. Claudia, the first I didn't date, I guess... I know this was a multi-date uh, thing, but... Okay. Claudia, the first date, Marlon, I couldn't keep his hands off you, is that right? And then what about with the baking on the second date? Was he okay? Well, in between making the peach cobble, he layered it and did all the little things he had to do. And he would come and flirt with me and he'd touch my hair and, ah. you know, he, he kept coming and checking up on me and seeing I was okay yeah, while bet. he was in the kitchen cooking. Now, Claudia, I want you to compare their cobblers between Keelan's and Marlon's. You know, I still haven't found the perfect peach cobbler. Like, Keelan's crust was pretty thick, and mm. his was, sorry, a little dry. But <laughs> it's still sweet, so. That was my first shot trying to cook peach cobbler. So, so Marlon, I mean, you, you did a little something extra for making mm. the cobbler. Did she reward you for that? Yeah, um, I walked her out to her car, and uh, she re rewarded me with a nice kiss. Oh. And I, Where? On the Where? lips. On and the she lips? had no problem kissing me on the lips. So. And Claudia, how were you feeling at that time? Were you enjoying yourself? Um, okay, the first kiss, first little peg, and the second, he kept trying to make it long, and I kind of felt a little guilty. What? More so than one? I said I had to go because it was about 1.30 in the morning, so I said, let me wrap this. I got to get home. I, I did feel a little guilty. So you're feeling a little guilt. Yeah. All right, well, Keelan, not too happy about all those details. Uh, all I have to say is, aren't you glad they both had such peachy dates? We're going to see who pairs up with who next, so stay tuned. <laughs> hoping to reignite the fire that the relationship had back in the beginning. Now some sparks definitely flew on their dates. So who's on fire for whom? Let's find out. Keelan, we're going to start with you. Obviously, Care with Claudia, you guys even lived together at one point in your relationship, even though it didn't work out. You went out with Roxanne, had a really good date. It ended with a big singing production number with a kiss. What do you say? Your decision. Well, going out with Roxanne, um, you know, made me realize how, how dating was and how, how, how it used to be. And, um, so I put a bug in my butt to look forward to some great uh, makeup sex, and I want to stay together. Okay, stay together. Hoping for some great makeup sex. All right, Roxanne, sorry things didn't work out for you. Claudia, Keelan wants to stay with you. Let's get your decision now. You were out with Marlon not only once, but twice with a two-part date. Who's got the best cobbler? That's what we want to know. Okay, I had a great time with Marlon. He's fun, a great personality. I could definitely have fun with him. Keelan did a lot of things on his date, and I think there's definitely more that uh, he didn't tell me. But I do love him, and I do want to work things out. Stay together. Stay together. Now I'm sorry to do more for you. Well, Claudia, Keelan, there you go. Nice little kiss. 
<laughs> Hopefully by coming on this show, you get past all those problems. And if you ever live together again, you'll know what to do this time to make it work for sure. Good, good to go. Uh, that is our show for today. Thanks to Roxanne and Marlon. And good luck to Keelan and Claudia. We'll see you next time on Change of Heart. Yeah.